Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. We're going to be doing a little bit of chit chat and a little bit of vintage and antique talking today. I love and I know you guys have heard me say this a few times if you're familiar with my channel. Um, if you're not, you know, uh, no big deal here. I do love glass jars. I talk about this pretty often actually. Um, never really talked about it in much depth, but I love beauty products that are from way back. Products that came originally in glass jars. I love glass jars. I have this just obsession with glass jars. Uh, particularly glass jars that were once home to beauty products. Skin cream, face cream, cold cream, uh, facial cleanser, whatever. Night cream, day cream. Whatever it was that was used way back, I love glass jars. And I do talk about often that I really wish products would come in glass jars now. Now, I know the whole deal behind plastic is, you know, it's, uh, you know, eco-friendly and it's, you know, easy, more easily to recycle and all that good stuff. But now, I really wish modern day skincare creams and lotions and potions and night creams and day creams, I really wish they came in glass jars more often than they do because I love to repurpose glass jars. I never ever throw away the glass jars. I always clean them out, uh, run them through the dishwasher, soak them in my sink, sanitize them, whatever, and I repurpose and reuse jars. Okay, anyhow. I have also talked on my channel about, I just, I have a lot of interest and I have studied skincare for years. It's just been a hobby of mine, a habit of mine, a passion and a love of mine personally. And I was fortunate enough uh, throughout college to try to incorporate <laughs> along the way uh, beauty products, skincare products. You know, I have researched brands that have been around a bazillion of years, researched ingredients, and I continue to this day to do a lot of research on ingredients. I love products of Webac, but, um, you know, a lot of the ingredients in those products are not really uh, generally that safe. And, uh, you know, they test on animals. There's just a whole lot of different things that I have found out over the years about older brands, such as the brand like Ponds, for example. And I recently bought these from a local antique shop. And I have been, I know, what else, what else is there to do? You know what I mean? Uh, when you work as many jobs as I do, <laughs> you know, got to have a little downtime, downtime. So I went to a new antique shop that opened up, um, actually close to where I live and I found these these are uh, ponds jars and these are supposed to be from the 1920s or 1920 rather I'm for sure one of them it is at least from 1920 so these are very old if you could see there is the word a ponds there uh, monogrammed in, engraved or monogrammed into the jar whatever you want to call it these are milk glass jars and I went ahead and I bought these not sure does it say anything on the bottom of it nope I don't see anything on the bottom of the jar but I went ahead and bought these jars up I think they are so beautiful they are so heavy they are so sturdy these are milk glass jars so this is just you know and I love the idea of it I'm thinking Pond's cold cream 1920 I could just envision that you know what I mean I love anything vintage or anything yesteryear or antique wise. I love, love, love old movie, old Hollywood, old movie stars, um, old movies way back to when it was actually called Hollywood Land rather than Hollywood. You know, they, they dropped the, uh, you know, the Hollywood Land, they dropped the word off there. Um, land so it no longer says land anyway anyhow it's hollywood but um yeah well you know and and the way things have evolved quite honestly i you know um yeah <laughs> yeah i really wish things would go back way before uh you know like they used to be i mean i cannot even imagine uh 50 60 70 years before i was born i i cannot even um you know, 89, 100 years. I cannot even imagine way back then, but I just, I, I love the glamour of, you know, vintage antique things. I love the glamour and allure of old 1920s, 1930s, 1940 movies, all that good stuff, Hollywoodland days, 
all that. So anyhow, this is the Milk Glass Ponds Jar. Love, love, loving this. Here's another one. This one's larger in size. I mean, I could just get lost in talking about this kinds of, you know, the, the stuff and the topics of it. This one also says ponds, of course. This is another Milk Glass Ponds Jar. This one's obviously larger than the smaller one. Um, I would say this is maybe probably one ounce, maybe. I, I really... One or one and a half ounces probably is what it would have held. This looks like possibly close to two ounces. Okay, one one and a half ounce, two ounces probably. Just by looking at it, that's by eyeballing it. Here's another uh, Pond's uh, Milk. Uh, let me see, was this one Pond's? Uh, da, da, da. Mm, actually, I'm not sure if this one was Pond's. I have noticed that this one does have some interior cracks on the inside, whereas these two Pond's milk glass jars do not. This one was probably not Pond's. I'm trying to see here. What does that say, you guys? Focus! Honestly, I cannot even make that out. I probably need a little magnification glass for this one. But I did notice, like I said, it has some minor cracks in there. Um, yeah, and if I saw the cracks, I probably would not have bought it. But, you know, it's one of those things you get at home, you clean things up, uh, you know, wipe them down, uh, soap them up, clean them up, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, and then you see cracks. Oh, no. Okay, but it's still a good idea, and I could still definitely repurpose this jar as well. And I also bought these. I think these are so totally cool. These are obviously cobalt blue. I love anything that is glass, cobalt blue. Uh, just, it's so beautiful to me. I love it. Okay, so these are one of the, I bought two of these, okay? And these are both Vicks Vape, Vapor Rub or Vapo Rub or whatever you want to call it. Vicks Vapor Vapo Rub. Um, and that stuff has been around obviously a forever, a bazillion years and some. So anyhow, these were once home to the Vicks Salve, so to speak. And uh, yeah, the Vicks Vapo or Vapor Rub, or whatever you want to call it. And one of these, and I cannot remember which one, one of these is from 1910, one of them is from 1920. I think the one from 1910, I think is the smaller one. And it actually says something down there. What does it say? It says Vapo Rub. Oh, yes. Okay, so this one actually has the a monogram or the emblem or uh, engraving, whatever you want to call it, uh, the logo. And this one actually says Fix Vapo Rub. Okay, and it has a V and a, a V and a W there in this center. So I believe if if I'm remembering right, I bought these a few days ago, so it's like hard to remember. I've been so busy huh, since. I think the smaller ones from 1910 that house the Vicks Vapo Rub. Now this one also is a Vicks Vapo Rub as well, but I don't see the engraving or the emblem or anything like that. I believe this one's from 19. 20 and the smaller one is from 1910. Anyhow, um, some of these drawers I'm going to actually use. Now, the probably the ones with, with the crack here, um, I probably am not going to use this per se for actual liquid or products or cream or lotion or anything like that. You guys know I love to make my own homemade hair care products and I love to make my own homemade skincare products. I love to make night cream, day cream, skin cream, skin serum, all that good stuff. So possibly I might repurpose and reuse some of these jars for that reason. But like I said, the cracked one, I'm just going to leave him like out on his own. But he is very pretty. What I can use him for is um, I can always put makeup brushes in there. You know, I could put my clean makeup brushes in there or my dirty makeup brushes or whatever. And I'm actually in the process of looking for buying uh, lids that fit these jars because obviously they're so old. They just didn't come with lids anymore. And I found this one around my house. And this is from a, uh, a newer jar of something that I had. And I cleaned this up real well, and it wasn't really dirty because I, I am a germaphobe. You guys know this. I have to really scrub and clean everything 10 times over. Anyhow, this is a nice clean lid, and I found out it does actually fit one of these. I believe it's this one it fits. It fits the smaller ponds jar. So I think that is so totally cool that I've actually found a fresh clean lid to fit the jar. And I am in the process of looking for and looking to buy some lids for the rest of the jars. 
and I probably will not bother with the crack drawer or buying a lid to it since I'm not going to actually use it for that purpose. So I'm going to buy one for the other milk glass ponds jar and I'm going to be looking for some lids for the Vix Vipo Rub cobalt blue glass jars. Yeah, I just love glass jars, you guys. I talk about this so often, and I have such great interest in older products. I know that my great-grandmother used, uh, and I talk about this all the time, all of Olay, and that those jars were still in the family forever. I don't know where they went. They probably got thrown away along the along the way somewhere but my gorgeous great-grandmother used to use the oil of Olay when it actually come in jars and it also come in the glass bottles and the fluid was pink it was known like the pink face fluid and all that stuff you know um, there wasn't a huge selection back in the day of creams and lotions and potions to choose from there were brands like Pond's there were brands uh, like the oil of Olay there were um, I believe Corn Huskers was around, uh, the Corn Huskers lotion. And let's see, um, Erno Laszlo did not come in, into the picture till way after that. You guys know I love that, that skincare line that Marilyn Monroe used. But anyhow, Erno Laszlo is more of a modern day uh, component rather than old school beauty. And for some reason, my mind has just totally gone blank. Oh, well, uh, there was the Dorothy Gray uh, Salon Cold Cream. There was Pons, of course. Uh, I know Revlon came into the picture uh, much later on by Charles Revson. Uh, okay, and there was... Uh, well, L'Oreal did not come into the picture, too. That was way after. But anyhow, these older brands, these super vintage brands, there was another brand of cold cream. And, oh, my. Um, I know a lot of the face creams back, way back, uh, contained estrogen. And I don't think a lot of people were really knowledgeable about that. But that was the beauty serum of choice was having estrogen in your face creams and your day creams and your night creams. You actually rub that into your face, neck, decolletage. It was an anti-aging effect, all that good stuff. Anyhow, I love glass jars, you guys. I don't want to talk all day. You know what I love. I love you guys so very much. Be sure to give me a big, huge thumbs up. Be sure to give me a big, huge like. As always, subscribe, like, and share my videos. Love you guys. Let me know what you love. Do you love vintage? Do you love antique? Do you love products that go way back? Do you love yesteryear ideas and beauty skincare this, skincare that, all that good stuff. Love you guys. Bye now.